Riemannian, the basic of Riemannian geometry. So let's first talk about manifolds, then we'll talk about graphs. So basically, a manifold, when we think of it, think of a surface, two-dimensional surface, so it's a non-Euclidean structure. It doesn't have a vector space structure, but cannot add two points on the manifold. But, so it's a topological object, but it's locally Euclidean, meaning that around each point you can find uh, basically an open, an open set that will be homeomorphic to a Euclidean space. Okay. So again, think of surfaces, basically a locally surface is equivalent to a plane that is called a tangent plane. On this tangent plane you can define an inner product that depends smoothly on the position of the point that is called the Riemannian metric. And when we say isometry, we imply such a deformation or embedding of the surface that doesn't affect the Riemannian metric. Okay. So, you can also talk about geodetics. If we take two points on the surface, the shortest path that connects them is called the geodetic. Now, assume that you have you know, a function that lives on your manifold. So, currently, assume a scalar field. Okay. Think of temperature of the surface. We can also talk about vector fields. So, vector fields are vectors that live in the tangent space in the manifold. So, technically, it's a map from the manifold to the tangent bundle. This is a disjoint union of all the tangent spaces. Okay. So, you can think of them as at each point you have a tangent space, it's an arrow, it's a vector on that tangent space. We can define a Hilbert space uh, of these of scalar fields and vector fields for these inner products. This will be inner product for the scalar fields, and this will be inner product for the vector fields. The inner product here under the integral is understood as the Riemannian metric. Basically, take inner product in the tangent space of two vector fields at that point. Okay? And dx here will be given by the square root of the determinant of the metric. It's the area element used by the Riemannian metric. So, what is the differential? Basically, in standard calculus, when you write the differential, basically you want to, to see how the function changes when you perturb its argument by some small displacement dx. Right? You want to write it as fx plus something, right? Now, on a manifold, this thing is not even defined. Right? So basically, instead of naively writing x plus dx, to perturb a point, you need to apply vector field, okay, or tangent vector. Right. So basically a differential, it's a map that maps from the tangent bundle to R, say if we're talking about real fields, and it acts on vector fields. So the